Hello Metaverse, get up, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. So, então, ontem fui para a academia, fui ótimo, e hoje, manhã, não estou ensinando muito, então hoje vou para a academia, eu vou correr, eu vou correr, e... <laughs> it is so hard to not want to speak in Spanish, vou correr, vou correr, então, tenho tempo para... Mo... <laughs> pra... <laughs> Does even... Yeah. Tenho tempo de me organizar. See, so a lot of people think that being self-employed is this really super fun adventure and it's so much better than, you know, being employed by someone else and working for someone else, but it's actually not because at the end of the day, you are still working for yourself and, wow, I look really great for someone who's, <laughs> who's trying to be a businesswoman, hold up. The difficulty of something that I was really reminded of, and I'm going to be honest, like I haven't been on the ball with this, which is why, as you might have noticed in my last vlog, and if you haven't watched my last vlog, make sure to go and watch it, you have a, well I anyway, I'm not going to speak for you guys, but I have a tendency to fall into this trap of like just constantly working because I don't really have an overview of everything like I should have and so you fall into this trap of actually working way too hard instead of working smart so today my goal is to basically go through all of my stuff update my scripts update my excel worksheets so I have excel worksheets for everything that I do for my YouTube channel, for my students, for my life, for my annual plans, for monthly plans and that all needs to be updated because I just haven't been using those lists for the last month because obviously they're not working for me anymore so anyway that's my goal for today and that's really the thing, the point that of course when you're an entrepreneur aka you're wor working for yourself whether you're a freelancer, whether you run your own business, whatever um, it's great because you know you have that aspect of freedom but at the same time you're everything, you're managing everything, you're the CEO, you're the marketer, you're the planner, the organizer, you are your HR, you are your sales team, you are everything and so it can get really overwhelming if you don't have a plan which is what I've been working on now and so you guys are going to see that in a second. This morning so I did my Russian practice, I was practicando ruso, I really need to like focus more on my Russian and and yeah but anyway uh, Russian is coming along good and it's really simple to integrate language learning like I don't find it a struggle at all and you know for all those people that say oh it's difficult like it does take hard work it doesn't come in a day like anything really that you work on but you know I want to show you guys that you can integrate it into your life in many many ways just by like you know me this morning I spent 12 minutes on Babel and that was my practice that I'm gonna review those words because I feel like I've forgotten all of them already you know it's gonna take less than five minutes to have a look at those words again review them they're gonna be better ingrained in my memory and then language learning is happening
A la peeps, what's get up? So, organization is no joke. La organización no es un chiste. I just printed off my to do, so I'm gonna stick them on here. And then I've also printed out some weekly to do list things so that I can have an overview. And I'm gonna have one for my activities for the week, one for students, and I think another one maybe but i know i'm definitely going to have two that are going to be here on my wall so that everything is there this is übersichtlich i really wish there was a really good word for this in english but i haven't really seemed to find one so leute ich bin endlich draußen hier spazieren weil mein kopf einfach total durch ist kennt ihr das wenn wenn man einfach boah, nicht mehr kann ich weiß nicht manchmal denke ich bin so ein roboter und kann alles machen und schaffe alles und kann so ja immer so bei 100 bleiben bzw. so von der Energie her, aber das klappt natürlich nicht und ja, deshalb gehe ich jetzt spazieren und ja, meinen Tag habe ich jetzt mit der Organisation verbracht und nachdem ich jetzt diese Liste erstellt habe bzw. diese Listen, fühle ich mich einfach so übertrieben gut, also Leute, das ist echt wahnsinnig, also einer meiner Mentoren hatte immer gesagt, dass Stress immer eine Entscheidung ist. Und wenn man gestresst ist, heißt es, dass man eigentlich keine Übersicht über sein Leben hat. Und das stimmt auf jeden Fall, weil klar, wenn irgendwas so plötzlich kommt und man denkt so, scheiße, wie habe ich das vergessen oder wie, wie konnte ich das vergessen, dann, ja, hattest du dein Leben einfach nicht äh, im Griff sozusagen, dass man einfach keine Übersicht hatte. Und deshalb fühle ich mich jetzt gut, ich gehe jetzt spazieren und danach geht es weiter. Bueno, ahora llegué a la casa y creo que voy a comer algo, entonces estaba con un amigo y sí, voy a trabajar un poquito ahora. Yo sé que son las once y media, oh, no. <risa> casi las once y media, pero quiero hacer algunas cosas porque estoy muy muy motivada y sí, voy a comer algo, tal vez voy a ver un video and YouTube E, you would have seen that I was outside um, went for a lovely lovely walk today so I've also finished my to-do list I did so much organization today my head was literally just like boom so I'll show you guys that hello guys it's Saturday morning I woke up at I think seven something and then I fell asleep again and now then I woke up at eight and I have been working on my vision board so first thing in the morning getting my focus straight redefining some of my goals so that I have my vision board that I can stick up because I haven't updated it in a while to be honest and yeah it's really really lovely so I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing that Saturdays are usually my leaner days so Jen Lini aber um, yeah was ich machen werde ich werde einfach weiter in meiner Organisation arbeiten und genau dann los geht's. busy linguist that's all for this vlog i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below do you guys also have a vision board if you don't i can definitely recommend having one because not only is it motivating but once you actually note down write down and visualize your goals and have them there every single day your subconscious will start to gear itself towards achieving those goals and all of your actions every decision that you make every action that you take in your life will slowly be moving in the direction of those goals because they are clear because they are precise and you know basically the direction Direction that you want to go into so I will see you in my next vlog make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and not yet subscribed and other than that bis dann Leute bis zum nächsten Mal